you said, um, like an excellent Dom knows the desire of his sub that they themselves or she herself has not yet realized Mm -hmm. and gives it to her. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, Oh, because so many women, right. I know listening to this are like, Oh, like I've had a guy do something to me that I didn't want that shut me down. That was like, Oh, and those men are almost operating from a sense of like, I should do this or right. I'll do this as like dominance and control, but not attuned to what she wants. Right. Yeah. When you're attuned to what's going to make her flesh, what she really wants, what's going to unfurl her in ways that are deeper than maybe she herself knows in that moment, that is fucking sexy as shit. And the precursor of that, which is like, I learned from some Instagram influencer how to like pull her <laughs> hair or whatever. It's like, no, please yeah. stop. Like, please don't do that, yeah. Chad. So like, there's such nuance to this. Like, so if you actually study the brain state conditions of doms and submissives, the dom enters flow state. Mm. And in flow state, that's the same as a big wave surfer. It's the same as a basketball player that's in the zone. There's a there's a knowing, there's a listening to the whole field in a way that's so acute that you know exactly the right move to make, the right thing to do. And so, of course, if you're doing it right, you're just in absolute flow state. Yeah. And you can, you can listen to the flutters of your own desire that meet the flutters of her desire and, or his desire. And, and you actually get to be in this really erotic dance. So... I think people underestimate the power of that type of container oh, so because good. it's in, in Vailan and I, we call it the black sutra. We have these rainbow sutras that we go through and in the black sutra, it's all about the exchange of power mm. and dominance and submissive. Mm. And every day is different. Mm. So one thing that was mild one day mm. could be extreme another day. Mm. And it, you just, you're in this dance of listening to exactly what the present moment has in store and being finely attuned to that experience. And it's, it teaches you something else also about the divine nature, about the divine masculine. What will you do when the goddess gives you all the power to do anything? Mm. What will you do? Mm. You know, can you hold that power? Lord Acton said, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Well, if that were true, every dom would be a fucking nightmare. Mm. It'd be a demon, right? Because you're given absolute power. Of course, there's a code word or whatever, but you're given all of that power. And then with that power, like Spider-Man's uncle said, comes great responsibility. Mm. And that great responsibility is to really listen and guide yourself on a mutual journey of Eros Mm. where you're meeting each other. And at the end, you're both drunk and intoxicated Mm. in the ecstasy of that particular type of revelry. And it's, it's fucking outrageous and incredible. Yeah. And it's amazing as a woman, what kind of desire can open up when you're held by the masculine in that state, because what happened was so much of even like what we see on pornography, it was co-opted of what the feminine does and desires in a deep state of true surrender right? and used on her as an expression of power when she doesn't actually want it. Right. Like I'm going to come in her face, but she doesn't really want it. Like I'm going to like fucking hit her, but she doesn't really want it. Right. So, so many women actually, I found have shut down that level of desire and that level of surrender in them because they've seen it misused or it's even misused, been misused on them. Whereas like, you know, getting consensually like slapped in the most erotic Mm -hmm. moment, right. Being choked, being like, oh, like with a man in a flow state that I want that from because I can feel his level of flow and power. There's nothing like it in the world. (laughs) Right. But a lot of women think, Oh, I have to want to be choked because that turns a guy on. Right. They're two vastly different states. So the invitation is really for, for men to be able to tap into that flow state of power and to know the difference between I'm doing it to her and I'm doing it for her Mm -hmm. to her. Yep. And for women, actually, to, you know, one of the things I've seen is so much of what we've been conditioned as for men is actually shit we love. But we just forgot because we forgot that state of surrender and desire, anal sex or, yeah, like get, get, having, getting whatever, cum shot, like with the right man in the mm-hmm. right situation. Oh, like it's incredible. Mm-hmm. In the wrong situation, it's the worst thing in the world. And so <laughs> it's like like making our way back to a reclamation of those sexual states that have actually in some ways really sadly been used against us right. and been conditioned into us 
that they have to look a certain way where they're so hollow or dehumanized when actually it can be an expression of some of the greatest dance of the masculine and feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like, it's one of the things that really bothers me when I see one of those men who are acting in a dom position, but I wouldn't trust them to give somebody a good foot massage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I, I can't, I just can't fathom how you could be good yeah. at that if you would didn't have the tender arts yeah. of listening to like what are the soft places of the foot? What are the places that need to be held softly? What are the places you need to push because there's energy that's held up in there? Yeah. So to me, it actually parlays into the God bomb, which is also includes this body work, which is really the same thing in a non-sexual container where I'm tuning in to whoever's on the table, I'm tuning into what their body is looking for, for a spiritual cathartic release, not a sexual release, Mm. but it's, it's so similar in a way. Mm. The only difference is, is that I'm not, I'm emptying myself of my own sexual desire and charge. Mm. So I'm not meeting and kind of stoking the fire that might already exist. I'm just in a pure state of listening. And that I think is just an essential skill to be able to really listen. So instead of jumping head first into dom school, like get into listening to listening school. Like yeah. what does each touch? How does that, how does that, you know, if you're reading the book of your lover's body, how does every single thing that you do and yeah, maybe a spank here. How does, how is that received? Yeah. Feel the energy that's pulsing off and like understand that and then start bringing out the toys and the things and the, and the games and the scenarios. 